Hi guys, Beaver here and welcome to the first episode of American Truck Simulator. I do hope you're all doing well. Happy Wednesday or whenever you're watching this of course. Yeah, I've recently gone ahead and bought the game and we are currently midway through it and I thought this would be a good time to pick it up for a episode as it is a very long route and way too long to fit into a video entirely. Yeah, we're hauling soda ash from Los Angeles in California to Gillette in Wyoming and we've picked it up. At a rest stop because we needed to rest. I have no idea where we are. Okay, it looks like we're outside of Salina. So yeah, we've picked up here because uh, we needed to rest. So I thought this would be a good place to pick it up for an episode. Yeah, I have my own truck. I've been grinding a little bit off stream because I haven't had the um. Yeah, I haven't had the game for too long, so I thought it would be a good time to go ahead and yeah, do an episode on it. Anywho, let's hop into the cab. We are here. We just need to go ahead and rest. Let's do that now, and it should be lovely and sunny outside. There we are, perfect. So let's go ahead and get the truck all configured. Yeah, we are going to get out of here and see what we can look at. Because this is all completely new to me. I am not familiar with ATS in any way, shape or form. So yeah, that would uh, make for an interesting video, I think. Yeah, I have no idea what truck model this is. This is just the one I picked up. This is what was um, set for my profile. So yeah, we've gone ahead and picked this one up. But yeah, we are hauling soda ash. So I thought that it would be a decent cargo to make a video out of. We are about 600 miles away from Gillette, so if it does end up being a bit long, I will just uh, cut the video short. I thought it should be okay. I've done about half the route off recording, so yeah, I thought we'd pick it up from here and carry on. I thought we'd make a good video. So yes, if you haven't already, please do go and check out Joe's channel from the British Ace. He's a great guy. Uh, me and him hooked up. Uh, over the weekend we did a stream together and yeah it was really fun and we we're planning to do it again so I will have a link to his channel down below if you're not already subscribed to him I do highly recommend it as with all of my other friends. You can get their links if you go to my channel section I have all my friends channels there linked for you so you can go and pay them a visit and say hi and subscribe and love to them as well. Everyone would highly appreciate it they have great communities and yeah they would all love it if you could drop in and say hi to them as well. So yeah, please don't beat me up too badly over this one guys, I'm not a trucker, but I've uh, had my eye on ATS for a while now and it was on sale so I thought, oh why are they if not, why not just go ahead and buy it. Yeah, that's exactly what I did and I picked up the entire DLC pack as well, so yeah, we have every single map DLC and I went ahead and got the cargo DLCs as well, so hopefully there should be plentiful content here to be made. I mean, there should be. We've got about 10 or 11 states and all the cargo DLC, so yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this, of course. Yeah, I was going to pick up a bit earlier, but I thought well, it's going to be dark and it's not really going to be that interesting, you know? You're not going to see much, so I thought, wait a bit. Yeah, I have no idea what this truck is. I have no idea what the engine is. Like I said, I just picked it because it was what was um get to um pick a truck, don't you, for your profile. And yeah, this was the design that was chosen, so this is what I ended up um buying. Because it was like, oh hey, this is you know, go to your truck dealer in Los Angeles and you can pick up a truck. So yeah, that's what I did. And now we're trying to pay off the loan, which is always fun. Fun part about truck sims from SCS. Go and buy yourself a truck, then you've got to go and pay off the loan. So yes, I am going to be trying to vary the content on the channel a bit more. I'm going to be trying to expand and bring some different games to the channel. Maybe bring back some ones I 
did earlier on when the channel was a bit younger and maybe didn't do so well we'll try and put videos out on them again see if they actually uh sink or swim this time see how they do because yeah as much as i love playing all the games that i play you know it's nice to unvary the content a bit for you guys because i no doubt it must get boring you know watching the same thing over and over again yeah, I do understand that it can be a bit boring, so yeah, I'm going to try and vary the content, so watch this space. This is the first video of me trying to achieve that for you. Yeah, I do hope you can understand that, and we are going to try and branch out our horizons. So yeah, the next question is, do we need gas or sleeping? No, we don't, because we've just slept, and the gas tank is just over three quarters full, so that's perfect. It should get us to Galette. I don't know how far do we have to go. Uh, 599 miles, oh, we're going to have to refuel just outside Galette because we've got 567 miles left in this tank of fuel, which is of course typical. Yeah, the scenery is very nice, I have no idea what state we're in, if you do know please do let me know down below. I'd like to learn a bit about the United States, I know all the major cities obviously like New York, Los Angeles, Miami, whatnot. Yeah, as for these other states and these other cities and counties, yeah, I don't really have a clue, I'm afraid. But yeah, I expect that this is very authentic, as you would uh, get in a SCS truck game. ETS2 is very authentic, and I expect this is as well. It's definitely a different experience, isn't it, with ATS? You have all the undulating highways and whatnot, you know, dips and curves and mountain passes and canyons and whatnot and bridges, tunnels. It's a very, very different experience from uh, ETS2. It's different, and I'm enjoying it, so that's all that matters. I'm enjoying it, you guys should enjoy it, so it's all good. And I'm wondering if I will get pulled in for a weight inspection on this trip because it hasn't happened to me yet. I've been let go all of them. They've just said, oh, you can carry on, you know, don't have to stop. See, so, yeah, I'm fully expecting, because I'm recording now, we are going to get pulled in, which would be just my luck. It also confuses me how they have um, different speed limits for trucks and uh, cars in the United States. Like, I was doing... Yeah, I was doing 75 because that's what the sign said. And then I got a speeding ticket. What? Like, but the sign said 75. And then I spoke to one of my American friends, a guy who plays ATS a lot, and he's like, oh no, they have, you know, we have different speed limits for trucks and cars. So yeah, there'll be normally a one sign that says, you know, speed limit 70, and then there'll be another one that's like, oh, truck speed limit is like 50 or something. So yeah, do watch out for that. If you're picking up ATS, because yeah, that caught me out first time to tell you. I thought the game was broken. It's like, oh, you got a speeding ticket. Right, let's get in the right-hand lane here, because we don't want to be a middle lane hogger now, do we? There we are. Yeah, it says KW on the dash. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that's the uh, logo of the brand. So yeah, if you do know, let me know down below. Really appreciate it. Might have to go and brush up on my uh, American truck brands and whatnot. Because at the moment I'm a bit of a novice. If you haven't already figured that out. I may not know how to drive the thing, but as for what brand it is and what engine it's got and whatnot, yeah. Don't really know. I'm more of a bus or a coach guy anyway than a truck guy, but I thought it was rude not to pick the game up being as it was on sale, so yeah. Always a good time to dip my toes in. Yeah. 
So it looks like we're going to be doing a bit of night driving in a minute anyway, which was something I wanted to avoid, but there we are. I guess it won't be that bad, really, will it? Let's turn the lights on. There we are. Because the time is 10 to 8, was that 8 o'clock local time in game? Oh, there we are, 8 o'clock, so yeah. I presume it's going to be getting pretty dark soon. Cheyenne, I know that place. I don't know where it is, but I've heard of it. It's in Train Sim World 2, that is Cheyenne. And Laramie, I believe, is near there as well. Ah, we've got the uh, GPS. Okay, every time I move over into another lane, it ends. How convenient. Okay, so it looks like we're off the highway now. Okay, and the truck is very underpowered because we are struggling up a little incline. We're doing barely 25 miles an hour. Hopefully we will be able to get a bit of speed going in a minute because Yeah, we are a little bit slow with this trailer on the back of us. She is a bit heavy Oh life, please don't do that. What are you doing? Oh, I need to go over. Let me over please Thank you Well that car was doing but I really didn't want to end up having an accident with him Watch for wildlife, dusk and dawn. That attention to detail that I like about SCS games, you know. Just the little things, it's the little things that make the game. What I say. Your speed limit down here is 70. Yeah, I don't know if the truck is going to be able to maintain this speed that I've set in the um, cruise control because the engine is probably not enough. But we'll see. We'll see how she goes. I am a massive fan of that skybox, it looks so nice, so so nice. You know, you've got all the colours correct, it's done and 
Oh, there we are. See, I told her. Told you. Told you we get done. Me's pulling at the vehicle inspection to get weighed. I called it, didn't I, guys? I said we will get told to pull in. Okay, we need to pull over into this lane here because we have a load on board. Stop at the truck scale ahead and activate the icon to submit to an inspection. Okay. Keep left. There we are. What's your BMI? Lol, just got an achievement for that. Uh, thank you for your cooperation. Perfect. Have a safe journey. We will. Thank you very much. So yeah guys, if there's any particular mod that you would recommend I pick up, please do let me know. I'm more than happy to add in a few mods just to make it a bit more authentic. But yeah, drop a comment down below. Is there any mod that you would recommend? You'd be like, oh, Beaver would really like that. Because yeah, right now I'm just running on vanilla ATS. I have no mods. And as fun as it is, eventually, you know, we're going to want to spice it up a bit. So yeah, let me know down below. What do you think? Any mods for Beaver? Anything I should put in the game? What's that? Muffin Mondays. Mmm, don't mind a muffin. I'll have a muffin. Why not? When is this job due? Let's have a look. We are due in 16 hours. The next rest stop is in 8 hours. Okay. Yeah, I'll just be quiet for a bit and let you listen to the engine and admire the scenery and whatnot. I'm sure that'd be nice. Yeah, I'll be quiet. And I will be back with you in a little bit.
Oh wow. Looks like we got a tunnel coming up. This is the first time we're gonna experience that in ACS. Yeah, we might wanna let off a bit here. Cause I don't know what the speed limit's gonna be through this tunnel. Let's have a look. 65. Oh well, we are okay then. I'd okay, rather be safe than sorry though, to be honest. Well, that was a short and sweet tunnel. I was hoping for a bit of a longer one to be honest, but there we are. Here's what it is. So yeah, if I've been through anywhere and you're like, oh, I live here, let me know down below. That would also be interesting to find out, see if I've actually passed through anywhere where you guys live. Because I know that the majority of my subscribers are American. So yeah, it'll be interesting. See if you um end up living somewhere that I've actually passed through. It'd be quite interesting. So yeah, let me know. So yeah, what I think we'll do is we will make an earlier rest stop, that way we can finish off the route in daytime, because right now it is pretty much pitch black and there's not that much to see really, so let's see if there's a... Yeah, it looks like there's a rest stop down there. That's Rawlins, I think. We'll just... go. Oh, not that one. My apologies. There we are. Yeah, that, at least that way we can finish off the route in daylight so you can actually see a bit more of the scenery. Because yeah, I know how boring it is driving at night. It's not really that much to see, is there? It's just darkness. <laughs> Maybe the odd light. I was going on an ad board, but it looked like the textures were flickering a little bit. I don't know whether that was because we were far away from it or whatnot, but I think you guys saw that as well. It seemed to be flickering a lot when we were quite far away, but it did also seem to sort itself out when we got closer, so yeah. I don't know whether that's just a rendering issue or whatnot. 
No, you can see the one ahead that's doing it as well. Right. Let's go and rest here. Okay, next thing is, where is the entrance? It looks like it's gonna be next one. There we are. Right, let's get a parking bay. Just went a little bit past it. Back up a little bit. There we are. Perfect. There we are, 11 a.m. Perfect. Whilst we're here, we may as well get some fuel as well, because we are down to half a tank. At least I won't have to worry about running out then. Right, and are these a single entry? Because some of the other ones I've been to have to drive in one way, but these ones are not, luckily. So, yeah. Perfect. By the way, is this fuel expensive? Five dollars and four cents. That I don't know how much that will convert to in my currency in British pounds, but that does seem rather steep. Yeah, let me know that as well. Is that good pricing for fuel? That seems rather steep for me. Right, the next challenge is where's the exit? That coach is turning right. Come on, dude. You're going to stop there, aren't you? Oh, my life. Okay, we're going to need to make a wide turn in so we don't hit him. Okay, well that was pretty pointless, it's now taking us back off for the freeway anyways.
Ah, uh, I don't think I was supposed to come down this way. Go straight up. Maybe that's why. Hashtag you guys didn't see that. I thought that was just like a this lane is blocked to go around, but I didn't actually think that meant this road is closed. Do not go down here. Just goes to show how much I don't know about the um, United States. Please mind the speed. Okay, love, alright. Getting a bit angry there. Looks like we're going to be on interstate roads for the rest of the journey, which is all good. I get to explore other places I haven't been to yet. That's all good. Yeah, let's put our foot down a bit, see if we can make up some speed here. I think we are just going into a new state. Hopefully this is Wyoming, in which case this is going to be the last the last drop. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Make sure you are on time. Well, I will definitely try to be. How much further have we got to go? One, one hour fifty? Oh my life, when are we due? Also, how far have we got left? 187 miles on oh, my life, we're going to be late. Right, foot down. <laughs> we need to get a move on. Because, yeah, the customer expects delivery in an hour and 45. I think it's going to be a close call.
here, I didn't intend this turning out to be a race, but it looks like it's going to be that, except we're racing the clock, not Caution. Joe. Please mind the so, speed. Yeah, it is what it is. All my life is speed dropping. We might want to slow down before we get a speeding ticket. That Wyoming Boulevard, okay, it looks like we're finally in Wyoming, so that is at least some good news. Okay, and they have just had an accident. be a great time hopefully the speed limit can pick up because we're trundling along here at 30 keep left and then turn left because yeah we turn actually have somewhere to be please change you're not are you oh scumbag oh come on are you serious wow Really? What a rip-off. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we are. I literally went a centimetre too far and was like, oh, $300 fine. <laughs> yeah, that's the last thing we needed. Especially with the amount of money that we currently have. There are we, it's the next one. My life, I nearly got on the wrong side of the carriageway then. People have been in the comments like, Beaver, you idiot! <laughs> Come on girl, you can do it. There we go. Oh, big stretch. Very heavy.
Oh, it looks like we're going past some sort of airport there. It looks like a control tower or something. Or well, that could be a, um, what's it called, a silo. Actually, I think that's a silo, isn't it? It's not a control tower. Well, I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. Actually. Anyway, you can see the ladder on it. Yeah, that's a silo of some sort. Some storage silo. Yeah, we're not going to make it. It's still 117 miles away. But we're going to get penalties for being late. Okay, Gillette is now on the distance board, 82 miles to go. Yeah, I think we can kiss any hopes goodbye being on time for this delivery. Save a life, buckle up, it's the law. Well, that is good. At Gillette, right, one mile. Okay, I think we're getting off at this intersection here. In that case, yes we are, okay. Right.
right, it's a very undulating. You can see the truck struggling right now, and the incline doesn't even seem that steep, to be honest with you. Yeah, I probably need to get a more powerful engine in this thing. I don't even know how powerful it is. I think it's the baseline engine, which will be, what, 370 horsepower? I think. The chair's quite weak. Okay, it looks like... oh perfect, we're nearly there. 16 miles to go. So yeah guys, I do hope you've enjoyed this one. We've had a little escapade here, going across several states in the um, United States of America. Yeah, I've certainly enjoyed it. It's something different for me. First time ever playing ATS. I think the customer's probably having kittens right now. They're like, where is my order? Where's my order of sand ash? It isn't here. Where is it? Well, I mean, what can you expect when you've got a beaver behind the wheel? Shouldn't really expect miracles now, should we? What a scumbag! Put on the parking brake and then the lights change. We missed that set as well. Okay then, that's it, you don't mind me. Now we finally made it, although we are going to be mega late.
Right, where are we going? Okay, I see it. In that tiny gap there. Okay. This is going to be awkward. Right. Let's see how badly Beaver can mess this one up, huh? Right. For starters, it's the other way, so I'm going to do it like this. And there we are. Get that off. Perfect. So yeah guys, that's going to do it for this one. Let's just unload the trailer. Yeah, we're very late. <laughs> Oh wow, we just leveled up another two levels. Okay, so I think we'll stick one in there and... Oh, why not? No, fuel climb me. High value, why not? There we are, apply that. So yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed that episode of American Truck Simulator. And until the next one, take care.